Now, materials for today's hat is, I'm using this Red Heart Super Saver, but any four weight yarn will work. I am using the color Mulberry, and this is how you tell the yarn weight. Now, the hook size that I'm using is a five millimeter crochet hook. I have a stitch marker and then uh, some scissors. You'll also want a tapestry needle to sew in your ends. Sorry I didn't do my nails before I started this video. Um, but to begin, we do start with a magic ring or a magic loop. You can also chain a few and then attach to the first chain. Now I like to chain up one more. Now we're gonna start with 12 double crochets into our center right here. So we yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. So that's one, here's two. So go ahead and make a total of 12 and then meet me back here. Now that we have our 12 double crochets, we are going to join this up and we're gonna start working in the round. So into the top of our first double crochet, just right here. Hopefully my camera is picking up on that. There we go. Okay, so at the top of that, we will do our double crochet, but we wanna make sure that we do it a little tight here. And then grab your stitch marker and place that right onto your stitch. Okay, so now for round two, so this was row one where we did our 12 double crochets. Now for row two, we're gonna increase. So we're gonna go back into that same stitch and place another double crochet. And then into each double crochet around, we're gonna place two into each stitch. And so we have a total of 24 double crochets. So go ahead and do that. Moving on to round three. So at the end of row two, you should have 24 stitches. Round three, at the end of this row, we're gonna have 34 stitches. I lied, we'll have 36 stitches. I know my multiplications. Okay, so into the first stitch, we are going to place one double crochet and then replace our stitch marker. And then into the next stitch is where we will place two double crochets into the same stitch. So we'll repeat that into the next stitch, we'll place one double crochet, and then into the following, we will do two double crochets into the same space. At the end of this row, you will have 36 double crochets. All right, so go ahead and count your stitches. Make sure that you have a total of 36. Now, moving on to round four, we are going to do another row of increases. So we are going to start with one double crochet into the next stitch. We will place one double crochet and then into our third stitch, we will place two double crochets into the same space. Um, at the end of this row, let's see. So into the next, you'll place one into the following you'll place one and then you will place two right here. Now you know that it's the spot where you're going to increase when you have a previous increase right here. If you can see that, um, you can see your two stitches in one. That is where we're going to be increasing. So go ahead and continue to work that. One double crochet, one double crochet, and then two double crochets into the third. And at the end of this row, you will have a total of 48 double crochets. Moving on to round five, we are going to do the same thing. In our first stitch, we will place one double crochet. Into the next stitch, we will place one double crochet. Into the third stitch, we will place one double crochet. And then we're gonna be increasing into the fourth stitch. So at the end of row five, you will have a total of 60 double crochets. So go ahead and continue to work your increase row and meet me back here for row six. All right, round five is done. We're moving on to round six. Now we're not gonna increase the standard way. We are just going to increase an additional six. So I just put stitch markers, but you don't have to do that. So moving on to row six, we are going to double crochet into our first stitch. And then we want to double crochet a total of nine. And then in the 10th stitch is where we are going to place our increase. So I've already done one. Here's two three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. So then into the tenth one right here, we're going to place two, oops, two double crochets into the same space. So this is our last increase. I didn't want to go up a full standard increase row. It just makes the hat just a little bit too big. So continue to do that all the way around. So we just did an increase. So then you'll work nine stitches and then into the 10th, you'll do an increase. You'll work nine into the 10th, you'll do an increase. So we're increasing one, two, three, four, five, and then one more right here, so six times. So at the end of row six, you'll have 66 stitches. I know that's horrible. Um, and then we will go ahead and start building the, um, the length for the hat. So go ahead and do that, increase, and then I will meet you back here for row seven. Here we are at row seven, and you should have a total of 66 double crochets. Now, moving on, remember to move up your stitch marker, but we are just going to work one double crochet into every single stitch now, all the way around, no increases, um, unless you needed to make this bigger or smaller. But if you're following along with me, no more increases. So what we're gonna do is just work one around until you feel that you have the appropriate amount for your head, but I will let you know how many rows I end up doing. I went ahead and did seven more rows. So in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 rows. Now, if you need this longer, you can definitely make it longer, but I do wanna leave enough room for the ruffles so that it doesn't cover our eyes. For my ruffle hats, I like to do just two rows of ruffles. Um, I think that it saves a little bit more time. So what I like to do on my first row is I like to do five double crochets and do every single stitch. So I'll show you what that looks like. This first round, you don't exactly have to put your stitch marker in, but when you go back through for your second round of ruffles, you definitely wanna have that so that you know where your starting point is. So here is one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we are gonna do this every single stitch around. Now, when you come back for your second round of ruffles, you are just gonna do three double crochets into every single stitch. So um, I'm gonna try to film that in between, but honestly, I'm gonna go work on this and the line at school pickup. So make sure that you do five into each stitch for your first round of ruffles and then row two of your ruffles do three double crochets into each stitch and i'll show you what that looks like this is what the ruffles are looking like i did the two rows so like i said i was going to do five double crochets into each stitch and then the next row i did three double crochets into each of those stitches so it increases it quite significantly. If you wanted to add more rows of ruffles, you can definitely do one more rows, but honestly, at this point, it takes about an hour to get through one row of ruffles. Um, if you want it to come out a little more, feel free to add, again, one more row. If you were to do one more row, I would do, you know, another three or even maybe two double crochets into each uh, ruffle. You could even bring it down to a half double crochet. So there's a lot that you could do with these hats. Um, once you get to your very last stitch though, I'm gonna show you how I will finish this off really quickly. Now I am back at my first stitch is right there. I have one more. I'm gonna do a half double crochet right here into the stitch right before the stitch marker. And then I'll slip stitch. And then I like to chain up two, and then let me grab my scissors. I swear I just have them, there they are. Okay, and then we will leave a bit of a tail just so that we can sew it in, and then we pull it through. And then pinch and pull, and that just really secures that knot. And then you'll go through and you'll sew in 
your ends. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And uh, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell. And I will see you guys all next time for another crochet tutorial over here on Dream 9 Designs Yarn Corner of YouTube. Thank you.